Why is PMOS considered as pull up and NMOS considered as pull down network in a CMOS technology? So, uh, pulling up a value is nothing but charging the capacitor from 0 volt to VDD is, is, is the pull up concept. And the pull down means the discharging the capacitor from VDD to ground. Now, the question is why do we use PMOS as pull up and NMOS as pull down network? To understand that, let us consider NMOS drain of the NMOS to connect it to VDD and gate to input and source to output and PMOS in this configuration. So, uh, to charge this capacitor, we have to have this NMOS transistor on. To on the transistor, to keep the transist NMOS transistor on, we need to have certain minimum value across gate to source that will keep this transistor on. So that VGS is equal to V threshold, which is nothing but voltage at gate minus voltage at output, which is V input minus V output. Now let the voltage at the input be VDD. So it will be VDD minus V output. So this is gate voltage and so the threshold voltage. So when VGS for VGS equals VT, NMOS transistor is on and the capacitor starts charging through this path from 0 to the value to the value equal to V output. So the output can be deduced from here as VDD minus VGS. Now when VGS equals VT, we get the output voltage as VDD minus VT. Now the question is, what is the maximum value to which capacitor can be charged? Uh, that is the pull up value. Now here, the NMOS transistor is on only for value more than VGS equals VT. When VGS is equal to VT, there is this very small amount of current that flows through this channel. So, to increase the current, we need to have VGS more. But the moment we increase the VGS, the output keeps decreasing. The moment we keep increasing VGS voltage, output starts. With the increase in VGS, output starts decreasing. So, uh, but our goal is to achieve V output equals VDD. For that, VGS should be as less as possible. But the moment we try to decrease the value of VGS less than VTT, uh, there is no conducting path from VDD to V output because this NMOS transistor goes off. So the maximum value to which we can charge the capacitor is the value for which NMOS transistor stays on. So V output equals VDD minus VT. We cannot increase the value of output more than this. It means the capacitor can never be charged to a value more than VDD minus VT when we consider NMOS as pull up network. And that is why we don't, uh, uh, we prefer using PMOS as pull up network and NMOS as pull down network. But this doesn't create a problem when we consider uh, NMOS as pull down network. Let's consider when PMOS transistor is used as pull up and the capacitor is charged to a value VDD. Now we have a uh, for direct path from VDD to ground, VDD to ground, we have to have this transistor on. For this transistor to be on, we need a minimum threshold voltage. The gate to source voltage must be a uh, bit more than the VT. It means VGS minus VT must be positive for this transistor to stay on. Uh, VGS can be written as VG minus VS, source is at 0, so it is VDD minus VT. Both are equal. So VDD minus VT does not depend upon the, so output voltage does not depend upon VDD minus VT. Here, the output voltage does not depend upon, this is basically the overdrive voltage, what we required. So uh, this voltage, does, the output voltage does not depend upon the threshold voltage. So irrespective of the, this, volta this voltage, 
the output keeps decreasing when NMOS transistor is on. Even though the V output approaches to zero, for the entire cycle of pull down, this transistor stays on. on. So NMOS is preferred as pull down and PMOS is preferred as pull up network in a CMOS technology.